Why is there a civil war? Well, it turns out it doesn't matter why they're at war. No, seriously, there is no explanation as to why America is in this civil war. But the good news is you actually don't need to know why. The film isn't about the politics of what is happening in the country. It is following this group of people who are on their own objective and watching their journey along the way. And that is what is good about this film. It is about the journey. It is not so much about the destination. Keep watching for my Real Deal review on Civil War. Welcome back Reelers and thank you for watching another Rusty Reels video and a Real Deal review. If you enjoy these videos please be sure to like. As always it helps in the world of YouTube algorithms and really does help boost the channel. So be sure to give it that thumbs up. And if you want more content like this you can always subscribe to the Rusty Reels YouTube channel. When you do just make sure that the notifications are turned on. That way you'll know when new videos are posted and you can enjoy other Rusty Reel reviews. So as I said, this film is very much about the journey. So where does it begin? It begins in New York City, where we find Kirsten Dunst, who plays Lee. She is a world-renowned wartime photographer. She appears to always be side by side with her good friend Joel, who is a journalist. He is played by Wagner Mora, and he is probably the more fun side of the duo compared to Kirsten Dunst, who is a very serious kind of individual. So this civil war is going on. It is drawing to a close when we meet everyone in this film. It seems like the Western forces, who are a combination of California and Texas, I know, how did those guys decide to team up? So they are heading east towards the capital, Washington DC. So it seems like the other side of this civil war is pretty much the government. It's a very authoritarian government and the president is serving a third term. No one likes that, no one likes the president. So what Lee and Joel decide to do is they're going to drive down to Washington DC to capture the moment that the president is defeated and most likely executed. Along for the adventure is young photographer Jesse, played by Kaylee Spaney. They're going to make their way down to DC to capture this moment that the president is defeated. But along the way, of course, things happen. And it's a very dystopian kind of America. Some towns are just deserted, while others are completely trying to ignore the situation. As I mentioned, the reason why we're in a civil war doesn't really matter. We are seeing everything through the perspective of these journalists. So when they're covering certain gunfights, we feel like we're right on the edge of the action with them. They are defenseless. They aren't carrying guns. They've just got cameras. So they are getting extremely close to danger. And we feel like we are right there with them, with the exploding walls and gunfire and bullets whizzing by, people getting shot and killed right next to them. It doesn't glorify war in any kind of way. It does feel like you are watching a documentary. It feels like you are part of the crew helping film the scenario. There are certain moments that you are stuck to your chair and I could literally feel my fists kind of like gripping because I thought oh okay I've, I've got to relax a little bit. There are a couple of excellent moments within this film and one involves a couple of snipers and I don't want to give too much away there but what is great about that scene is that you don't know on which side either sniper is. You are just caught up in the gunfire and really all that matters at the moment is survival. It doesn't matter who's on which side or who's done what. You just want to make sure that you are alive at the end of it. And the other scene which is particularly great is one that involves Jesse Plemons. He is only in the one scene and you've probably seen that moment in the trailers. I thought he was going to be more involved in the film but that one scene he very much steals the whole show with that particular part of the film. That is probably the most teeth grinding, suspenseful moment of the entire film. And Jesse really does deliver in that moment. A few interesting choices in this film. I did really enjoy it. The wartime sequences are very, very well done, but there were some interesting music choices and they're trying to maybe bring you down a little bit, um, not in a bad way, it's just trying to maybe calm the situation. Following such a high adrenaline moment of bullets flying around, they try to calm you down with an interesting music choice that's a little more happy and makes you feel like the world isn't so bad. Maybe that's what they were trying to do because it's trying to paint over the seriousness of the situation with a, oh okay, so a cutaway to them driving along 
and maybe that's what's on the radio but it does very much feel like you are going through a montage of a few hours and they're trying to make everything seem nice with that particular song. So yeah, interesting music choices aside, as I mentioned, this film is very much focused on the journey rather than any kind of destination. So I really enjoyed everything from start through the middle and right up to the end, but the end just sort of finished. And like I said, it's not the destination that matters, but I did kind of want a little bit nicer of a wrap up at the end. And I also think they're trying to say something by ending it the way that they ended it. And that not everything has a clean, wrapped up, explanatory ending. Sometimes it just ends and it's abrupt. And that's how things are in a gunfight and war scenarios. Sometimes there's not this gratifying finish. Not everything is sunshine and rainbows at the end of something like that. Sometimes it just ends and you're left with just what there is. That aside, I did want it to wrap things up. There's very interesting character arcs with this film. As I said, it's the journey, not the destination. But thinking about all this, the film is something I wouldn't rush back to see. I did very much enjoy it, but I think it's something that I don't want to watch again for a while because it is quite intense. The performances are great. Uh, the way it's shot is fantastic. But I don't know, I felt a little bit like the end needed a little bit more, as I said. And though I wouldn't rush to see it immediately again, it is definitely something I could go back and watch. It's like Hurt Locker. Visually great to watch, but is very real in the sense of what it's trying to deliver in terms of realness of wartime and not glorifying things and delivering some hard reality. I'm giving it four reels out of five. Um, very good score, really enjoyed it. But what did you think? Do you think it was warranted that kind of score? Should I have given it more? Comment below. Thanks for watching. And once again, I'm gonna tell you to make sure that you hit that like button. I do hope you enjoyed my Real Deal review on the Civil War. And you may end up finding that you'll like some of my other Real Deal reviews. So head on over to the Rusty Reels channel and subscribe. Be sure to also turn on the notifications so you know when future videos are posted. Or just give one of these videos that are probably popping up on your screen now a watch. You can also follow me on social media at Rusty Reels. Really, I'd like you to do all three. So that's like the video, subscribe to my channel and follow on socials. Thank you once again, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. And as always, just be real.